everyone, this is Ben from iPhone Builder. I wanted to make a short video to show you how to take iPhone Builder data and push it into Google Docs for any of your reporting needs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Data tab in iPhone Builder. And you want to select the form that you want to take the data and push it into Google Docs with. So I've created a sample purchase order form that only has a few fields on it. So I'm going to select that and you want to, we're going to use the XML data feed. So if, you, if we shift and then single click, we'll bring up the action URL. So we want to actually copy that. And now once we have that, that's all the data you need from iPhone Builder. So now we'll go into a new spreadsheet I've created here on Google Docs. And we're going to use a function that's called import XML. And then inside this function, we're going to paste the URL of the XML data feed. We're going to do and username equals the username. So I gave it Google Docs 1 and password equals Google Docs 1. Then you're going to end that with another quote and then you're going to do a comma and then we're going to start a new quote and we're going to do two forward slashes and then record. Now what that record tag is doing is it's bringing all the data from each record and pasting it into Google Docs. So we'll select enter here and this is where the magic will happen. So right now what it just did is it's using the data feed which updates in Google Docs I think it's every 20 minutes and it's going to bring in these new records. Now you'll see that the data has been passed over and we actually have two records in here. So you can go ahead and insert a row above if you'd like and add in the column headers because they do not currently come in with the data. But you'll see we have the metadata here so these are the record IDs and so on and then this is the data that was actually collected on the form here it starts in column M and goes all the way to column R so these records will be coming in in real time and as they are updated in iPhone Builder they will then be pushed over to Google Docs and will be inserted into this spreadsheet so I hope this video is helpful in showing you how to import data from iPhone Builder into Google Docs look for more videos coming soon on how to use Google Docs as a reporting solution thanks